Hi, this is Hyungju Yang. I am the director of the Bible Vaccine Center and the senior pastor at Daejeon Doan Church. The Bible Vaccine Center is an institute that helps believers to develop spiritual resistance based on biblical truth in the age of many shooter Christianities. The reason I started the Bible Vaccine Center is that I experienced great damage by Shincheonji while I was serving as a pastor in a local church. It's already been 10 years, but the damage done by Shincheonji is still going on around the churches in Korea and the world. So I finally decided to start the Bible Vaccine Center and Bible Vaccine TV because I thought I couldn't stay still anymore. You need to know the reality of Shincheonji. This video series called I Have a Question, Chairman Man Hee Lee, raises questions directly to Shincheonji Chairman Man Hee Lee. There are so many questions I want to ask if I meet the Shincheonji President Lee Man Hee. When I say this to the Shincheonji members around me, they always say, our president always welcomes anyone who comes to him and ask any questions. But the problem is, they say, so far, there has been no one who steps forward and raises questions. So here is a question for you, Mr. Lee Man Hee. First question, are you really immortal? Shincheonji members all believe in the immortality of Chairman Lee Man Hee. Even if they have doubts, they say they will stay until Lee Man Hee dies and then will leave Shincheonji. The core belief of Shincheonji is the eternal life of the body. They say that when the 144,000 spirits of the martyrs in the spirit world unite with the 144,000 Shincheonji believers in the physical world, they become immortal bodies. In fact, many people believed in that and entered Shincheonji. However, some people grow old, get sick, and die before they gain immortality. However, at least the president of Shincheonji must not grow old and die. And that is what Shincheonji members firmly believe. However, I wonder if the chairman of Shincheonji is really immortal. I have strong doubts. First, the president of Shincheonji, rather than proudly revealing his immortality in public, avoided making a clear statement. On December 9, 2020, the following final statements was made at the decision trial held at the 11th Criminal Division of Suwon District Court in South Korea. Mr. Lee says, If I live, how long will I live? Do you want to make me a sinner? I will never sin again and live a righteous life. If I live, how long will I live? According to his statement, he seems unsure of his immortality. He also said this in an interview with a media outlet in 2007. First, the reporter asked, according to the Bible then, you, the president of Shincheonji, may live forever. Are you saying that? Then Mr. Lee answered like this, me? No. If God says to live long, I will live long. And if God tells me to die, then I will die. Just because I want to live doesn't mean I live more. Nowadays, Shincheonji members are revealing themselves and conducting open evangelism. Instead of hiding their Shincheonji identity, they openly expose themselves. If so, I would like the president of Shincheonji to clearly express his position. Chairman Lee Man Hee, are you immortal? Do you really have eternal life in the flesh? The second doubt about the immortality of the body is due to the case of losing a 3 billion won lawsuit against CBS in court not long ago. CBS stands for Christian Broadcasting System and is one of the major media companies in Korea. CBS reported in 2017 that Shincheonji went to a shaman to perform an exorcism ceremony so that Shincheonji members would submit to Shincheonji even if Chairman Lee Man Hee died. Shincheonji protested that this was false and 
filed a lawsuit against CBS for 3 billion won. However, the court sided with CBS by securing key statements from Shincheonji insiders and the testimony of shamans. What does this mean? This means that the report that the exorcism was held can never be regarded as false. Look, the chairman of Shincheonji, with whom the Spirit of God and Jesus are together, is involved in an exorcism ceremony? How shocking! Some people may say, this is a lie and that is a false slander. But the solution is simple. If you have Korean friends, ask them to search for following keywords. Shincheonji, CBS, 3 billion won, lawsuit, lost in Korean on the internet. Specific facts will emerge. There are also internet sites that have public court rulings. If this is true, wouldn't it be possible that Chairman Lee knew already that he would not be immortal and went to see a shaman in order to prepare for his death in advance? Even if Chairman Lee didn't visit the shaman himself, didn't the people around Mr. Lee, who already knew that he is not immortal and couldn't live forever, go to see the shaman beforehand? I request a clear answer. Since everything is so clean and transparent in Shincheonji, I hope that Shincheonji will answer this question in a clear manner. The third doubt is that the chairman is actually getting old and sick. In 2017, a media reported that the president of Shincheonji was secretly hospitalized due to spinal stenosis. In July 2020, they reported about the circumstances in which Mr. Lee was secretly admitted to a hospital and then discharged. He was wearing a mask and sunglasses so people wouldn't recognize him. Then in November 2020, it was exposed that Mr. Lee was in a detention center and was leaving the prison in a wheelchair. During the recent graduation ceremony for 100,000 members in Daegu, the president's voice is not the same as before. It feels like his voice, which used to be loud, is getting weaker and weaker. If Chairman Lee Man He is immortal, he must not be old. Why? Because aging means that his cells are already starting to die. If he is really immortal, his cells should not age. His body should not be getting old. In Shincheonji, Chairman Mr. Lee's visit to the hospital is top secret and is not openly discussed. Why? I think this is because of Shincheonji believers' expectation that he is immortal. Fourth, the Bible clearly states that no one in this world can avoid death. Hebrew 9.27 says, Just as people are destined to die once, and after that to face judgment. Remember, all people are destined to die. If this word is true, the president of Shincheonji cannot go beyond this word of God. He cannot escape from death. He must die. Well, Mr. Lee, it is time for you to answer me. Mr. Chairman, are you immortal? Please tell me clearly. Now, you must be clear so everyone can see. Thank you.